Good morning, I'm Martin Curry with Laramie River Conservation District here in Laramie, Wyoming. This morning we are going to demonstrate the use of our small acre cedar which can be rented from the district. The objective today is to re vegetate the area in front of this house with native seeds. The seed of choice will be wheat grasses. It's October 23rd. The best time to reseed is late fall after the 15th of October. What we're looking at trying to do is get the seed on the surface and then try to get it covered with snow. So when springtime comes around, the seed's already there and ready to go. This type of cedar is uh, designed to be pulled with an ATV or an all-terrain vehicle. The front portion of the cedar has a component that can be lowered into the ground to create furrows for the seed to fall in. The back component consists of two seed boxes. The front is for fluffy seeds or warm season grasses. The back is for cool season grasses or seeds that are larger in size. And it is a dribble box. It's a chain mechanism that's driven by the tires that just dribbled meters out the seed into the ground. This cedar is set up so we can change out the size of these cogs to deliver the seed at the rate which the seed distributor recommends. Typically, when you're renting these from conservation districts, they will already preset these for you, but it's a very simple process to changing out these cogs. After you've set your seed delivery rate, the next step would be to put the seed in the seed box, evenly distribute it. Um, there's very different types of seeds in which can be utilized. Your NRCS Conservation District Extension employees can help you pick out the seed that best suits the habitat or the soils in which they're going to be planted. Seed prices will vary through the years. It all is very dependent on drought and wildfires. Inventories will go up and down accordingly. Okay, we went ahead and did a little test strip here. You can see where our furrows are created by the tines on the front of the equipment. And you also want to check to make sure that your seeds are coming out and everything's looking good. And if you're happy with everything, you're set to go.